Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, Grand Rising, Rising Shine, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support, the participation, the likes, all the energy exchange, guys. My heart is always so full when I'm interacting with you. So, grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's going to spill the tea. Straight. No chaser, no makeup, no sugar coating shit. 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's do this, guys, all right? And let's see what ha um, the week has in store for us, okay? So remember to put yourself where you belong. I could be saying you, could be them, could be saying he, could be a she. So always use your discernment, okay, guys? These aren't personal readings. If you want some more personal reading, you can always hit me up. So don't take them personally, guys. All right? I love you, and let's tap in. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you in, and I ask for a clear, precise, channeled message as to what my collective needs to know, see, feel, hear, get some clarity, some understanding, some perspective, and some enlightenment on their journey. Anything other than the highest white light, I close that door now. Please and thank you. Bottom of the deck is the judgment in reverse. Do you know what fell out, though? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, the smoke, crazy right now, which means it needs to be cleaned off the sage. There is a volatile, malicious, condescending, very jealous, very superficial person in your energy who is judging you. Now the ancestors are judging them. They refuse to do the internal work. There's a lot of projections here, okay? This is what flew out. So you need to know that this is energy is around you. Whether it is a Jezebel spirit, male or female, it's irrelevant, or it's a naggy old, you know, person who just doesn't, they, they have that fed up, give up kind of energy. So everything that pretty much comes out of their mouth is like toxic. They're, they're very extremely judgmental. It's only because they're superficial, okay? They could look pretty on the inside, outside, but in the inside, they're a big old mess. Their soul is rotten, okay? And this is why they're having to go through this experience right now. Um, because they refuse to look internally and they did a lot of projecting externally, a lot of judging, you know? This is like, um, like the energy that I'm feeling with that, it's like a, an evil stepmother, okay? Who is jealous of somebody, so does anything and everything they possibly could. But the sad part is, is I don't feel this is a stepmother. I feel this is an actual mother or sister or, you know, it could be a male, take it as it resonates, but somebody is... A, jealous of their own kin and doing some like dark shit but the ancestors see it guys bottom of the deck is the eight of swords in reverse they see it somebody is out of a mental entrapment somebody is getting some clarity somebody sees this wicked evil witch now i have nothing against witches Nothing at all because I was born witch. My grandfather called me a witch right from my, my mama's coochie. You know what I mean? So, but there's a difference when you're trying to get one up on people or hating on people. It, you know, these kitchen witch people don't realize that they have to pay the consequences. Two of wands. Choices. Now, you can be the Madam Mim or you could be, um, what's his name? Somebody comment on the bottom. Um, you know what I'm saying. It's early. <laughs> but him. Okay. Uh, Merlin. Thank you. <laughs> Merlin. So, you can be Madam Minim or Merlin. I feel like somebody's Madam Mim. And somebody's waking up to the fact that they're Merlin. And they don't have to deal with this situation, but they do have to fight it. Okay. We do need the light and the dark, so I feel like they, this is somebody's kin, somebody's family, somebody's really close relation, somebody who you thought was a support system, but a whole time they were behind your back doing some evil things because they didn't want you to level up. Bucket full of craps, guys. Choices. We all have choices. We all have the world in our fucking hands. It's the Queen of Cups in reverse. 
this person is having, male or female, is having a mental breakdown. Okay, they don't have enough love. So when they're being confronted, they're this knight of coins. So they're super slow. Because they don't want people to know what they're doing. So they go and jump from one person to another person to another person. Trying to plan some kind of illusions around people. So they don't understand, so they don't realize what their true intentions are. Seven of coins, four of coins. Seven of coins is in reverse. Somebody's investments have gone sour, gone left. It's about the choices. Somebody had the world in their hands. They knew exactly what they were doing. And they chose to go with no intuition, with no love, with no compassion. And they went very, very slow, waiting for something to come in. But whatever's coming in that's taking a long time is bad investments. That's why they're holding on to your energy. That's why they're coming up in the reading. Because of these bad investments, they really see something going on with you. Let's dig in a little bit more, okay, guys? Because we're six minutes, 616 into the reading. There's a choice here. Somebody made a choice. They decided to be mean and do some dark ass energy work on you or, you know, because they hated themselves. Honestly, they really didn't have any, they didn't logically think because logically their mind is all a mess, you know, so they don't, they didn't think about how they knew it, whatever was, it was taking, however long it was taking, it was taking very slow. For this investment to come in but they didn't realize that once the investment came in it wasn't going to be any good and that's why they're holding on to their thought process their miserly their hoarding see it's the nine of cups there was some kind of overindulging here they really did something over and over and over thinking that they can maybe they did it in this full moon energy maybe they kept doing it with the cycles of the moon not realizing that they're going to put themselves in this sun in reverse energy Yo, Bella right now is putting up um, a reading talking about breaking generational curses. Okay, I posted it on my Facebook. It's going to come up after. But somebody is in the dark, is refusing to see the light, refusing to see the truth, refusing to do the work internally. That's why the judgment is in reverse. Ra Sungwai Dizu, God creator, knows this choice that this person made. Understood that there was a light in the dark side, and they, they knew better. They knew somebody wasn't innocent, and they still went with no compassion, no intuition, because they're so dark. They're very selfish. This is why the Six of Swords is here. You were guided to move away. Energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all the above. Because you know that energy is exchangeable. So if you're around these people, you're inevitably going to feel some kind of way. You're not going to take care of yourself. You're not going to be authentic. And you want a higher level commitment. Something you're going to stand up for. A ten of coins. Now this very, very do anything for money kind of person, the king of pentacles in reverse, sees that you're a legacy. Sees that you have morals, dignity, pride, you're a teacher, you're really standing up, and you walk the fuck away from this very toxic energy. You know that somebody was sitting as the king, queen of wands in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, so it could be even two people trying to put some kind of illusions. It was a choice, guys, and now they're sitting in this fucking depression with this king of pentacles in reverse. They probably, these two people probably took advantage of this person, and this person thought they could take a, advantage of the other two. They're all fucking losing their mind at this point, because you are the one who walked the fuck away from this whole environment. Could have been a husband who walked away from, take it as it resonates, let me know in the comments. But... You walked away from this marriage, this whatever this is, this family, whatever. They're greedy. They could have all kinds of money, but at the end of the day, their fucking soul is rotten. Like I said, yo, somebody just mm -mm, ain't worth the time in the day, you know? Yeah, it's the four of wands. 
They're not worth the time in the day. Oh, you have the legacy, the wealth. Somebody missed out on this, and that's why they're fucking having a shit fit. And they, they're they yelling at these people because they're the ones who blocked them from having this generational wealth, generational knowledge, or any of this. They broke a foundation, 11-11. There's no celebration. There's no harmony. This is why these people are hating on you, because whatever was done in the moon energy is coming to light. Tasha spills the tea no matter what, so you gotta be careful, especially if you're throwing this energy out to me. <laughs> it's not a good idea, yo. My ancestors think of it as a threat, so. Thread lightly. The hermit. Because we're the hermit or hermitist, okay? Somebody is going inwards. Really seeing the environment for what it is, the people for what they are, understanding that you're going through a cycle. We're all going through cycles right now. And this full moon in Leo is showing us exactly what is love and our accomplishments. They're, you know, we're having to face ourselves, look inward. Somebody refuses to do that and instead is continuously sending out this nasty energy to somebody. And I feel it's you. But you are very fucking protected. And what's done in the dark always gets seen. That's why you can't fucking lie because all you're doing is lying to yourself. And then, yeah, you're a fucking crazy person. And they call me crazy because I'm honest. No, bitch, you're fucking insane because that's all you know how to do is lie. And look what happens when you lie. It's a lot of betrayals, guys. People want to betray you, backstab you, isolate you, make you feel like you're not good enough. But at the end of the day, you got the fucking ace of wands. You got the passionate new beginning. You got the big dick energy. You got the drive. You got the inspiration. You got the creativity. Yo. You're getting the new blessings. And these people wanted this for you. Betrayal, backstabbing, for you to hit rock bottom and now... You don't have to be dr on drugs to hit rock bottom, guys. It's a mental instability. It's you doing it to your damn self. The seven of cups because of an illusion. Could be a drug-filled haze. You know, these people, you know, celebrating so much, they don't realize that they're fucking hurting their damn selves. They're not hurting nobody else because nobody else is paying attention to them. <laughs> it's the strength. You have the strength to persevere. You walked away. You don't want any of this. You're the fucking Ace of Pentacles. You're the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You're getting brand new, brand new. And this is what's kind of got people like a little bit, you know, upset with you because of the fact that your legacy, it, it's always been with you. You've always had everything you've needed and you've got it all by yourself. That's why you always had people around you because you are the light because you are the bank because you had the drive because you motivated people but believe me when you didn't have anything there was nobody there believe me i've restarted almost every five years and i'm telling you when i start i have lots of fucking shit lots of assets lots of but then slowly these fucking people and i'm so generous really like i'm so generous and, you know, I don't think about it, you know, I think of it like if somebody steals money from me, they need it more than me. I think like, you know, uh, I, I have a very generous heart, you know, so I will give the shirt off my back. But at the same time, you know, you bite the hand that feeds you and I'm gonna cut you fucking off just as fucking fast. Why? Because I know my worth and that's what fucks people up because they get so fucking comfortable in my energy, in our energy as light workers, star seeds, indigo children, you know, and then when you cut them off, these bad friends, and they see your payoff coming, they freak the fuck out, and then they do whatever they possibly could to, to stop you, to stop you. To make sure this money doesn't come in or you don't have friends. Whatever this is. But at the end of the day, they can only block you or try this for a moment. Because what is yours inevitably always comes to you. Because your payoff is coming. And so is the payoff for these ex-friends, ex-family members. All these lower vibrational connections that you had. That are clearly trying to still hold on to you. They're going through it. So as I warn everybody, as always, choices. We have choices, guys. Be careful what you do. 
Be careful who you hurt. You have no idea who's protecting who. And if you're a person like me, we pray for people. We wish people well, even if they're not with us. Even if we know they're sending us some nasty ass shit. Why? Because we work with alchemy. We work with the dark matter. So they can send us this dark energy all they want. But we're just going to transmute it into something beautiful for the whole world. So, at the end of the day, Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in with some information, okay? Ancestors telling you your payoff's coming. Telling you somebody is uh, depressed because the truth is coming out. And all they can do is spy. Because they're fucking in the Five of Cups, dwelling on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. And because of your strength, they're really in a lot of regret. Oh, it's the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past. Somebody that you thought you had nostalgic energy with. Like I said, it's somebody close to you. They're in depression. Because they know you're going towards a high level commitment or because you're a public speaker, because people look up to you, because you have morals, integrity, and they don't. They're spying on you, okay? Because of your strength. And it's somebody you know. Somebody you would never think of. Because you thought they'd always be there, whether this is a mother, an auntie, a sister, a girlfriend, a brother, a father, a mentor. Your payoff is coming either way, okay? So you got to be careful. Because this family is, or people from your past are not having a good experience right now because you let go of the burdens. You will no longer allow the past to come in. And that's what's getting them fucked up because they're stuck in this devil codependent energy. And they don't know how to get out. I feel like you're the only one that can help them. But somebody needs to be the king of swords to speak their truth. That's clarification. That's the only way, guys. Because somebody's overindulging and continuously going to overindulge. They don't have to be a drug addict, guys. You can be, you know, an old lady and... But there's an ending of a karmic completion here. The cycles are done. No more being an asshole anymore, guys. People are calling out that assholeness. Nobody wants to be around it. It is what it is. It's time to be fucking joyful, respectful to ourselves and to others. And if they're not respectful to us, well, then we're allowed to be the Hayoki empath and say deuces. And then when we eliminate our energy from their atmosphere, they do. They feel it. They really feel it. <laughs> and how you know they feel it is because they start hating on you so bad. And then they start bringing other people to hate on you. And then all of a sudden they have a big fucking crew of people to hate on you. And then it's gang stalking. And the only reason why they're together, the only thing they have in common together is you. Five of Pentacles. Because you got out of this mental entrapment, yo. Some... <laughs> You're not dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> and somebody is really, really depressed because you're the fucking son. And you really do enlighten the fact that we have choices. We have choices. You have a choice. You know exactly what you did. Now you got to take responsibility, King of Cups, because somebody has got a lot of love. And it's coming in as the muse, the Page of Cups. Oh, this Page of Wands. Somebody is coming in with a brand message. Fast moving message, all right? About somebody's missed opportunities. It's the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What you put onto others, you inevitably get back, guys. Somebody's fortunes are going in one hand and out the other. And they got no passion, no drive, and this is why they're fucking doing this nasty shit onto others because they're jealous. They're jealous of their own fucking kin. They're jealous of their own son. They're jealous of their own daughter. They're jealous of their own family member, their own co-worker, whatever this is. There is no reconciliation, guys. No reconciliation. It's a choice. Someone had a choice. Now they've got nothing. And it's your family. There's no reconciliation with people from the past. Because you got the fucking Ace of Wands in the upright. You're not doing this. You're not playing the games. That's why the Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody is getting a message that you ain't working with them.
You don't give a fuck. They're trying to get a message in, but you got the download. Yes, you know that somebody loves you and they're out of a mental entrapment or a prison of the mind. But you know it's a ten of pentacles in reverse. There's no legacy there, so you're not going towards it. Remember, it's about how we leave people feeling. It's how we treat our children. If you're not taking care of your children, then at the end of the day, are you a real star? You know, now there's situations. Okay, the, the payoff is coming for the stars. There's situations where people are such assholes, okay? Like, I've had court crazy court battles with my baby daddy. And I've seen my ex, you know, have to go through some shit. But it's also like you have to put your foot down. You have to say, this is my life. This is my children. Now... We have in the juice this Libra, okay? This Libra might try to take you out or somebody tried to take a Libra out. Take it as it resonates, okay? But there's a game over for this Libra because they're on the DL and justice is being served. There is a balancing of the scales here, okay? Because the hexes are being backfired. You have blessings on blessings on blessings under this full moon Pisces, okay? It's a full moon Leo, but the Pisces is the, full, is the moon. You need to trust... Okay, trust is everything. So if you do not trust the person, don't have them in your circle because you know your worth and you know you're shining. You are the star and you have these blessings. So of course people are going to try to hex you, but you are the generational curse breaker. You are walking motherfucking justice to anybody who is not authentic. You don't have to be on the DL like on the down low, like uh, sexually. This could mean like you're playing in somebody's face. You know, one minute you're fucking cool with them, but then you... Turn around and they're fucking talking shit about you. It's game over for this because whatever you do in the dark, in the shadow, or by yourself, whatever, it gets seen, guys. And they really tried to take you out and it was all because of justice, because of balance, because you were um, an empress, or because of a Libra. Take it as it resonates. And a Pisces, maybe. I don't know. Maybe these two people are... Uh, Libra and Pisces, but you're moved on, and now they're feeling extremely pathetic because your payoff is coming. These people need to stop now, okay? They need to stop because at the end of the day, they're just cheaters, and that's why the world ended. The karmic completions ended, and the spell work ended because you are not thing like them. Two, 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 two on my fucking clock, guys. You're a motherfucking earth angel. And you're balanced. And these narcs are getting caught up for the spell work that they did. And this is why their world is all fucking topsy-turvy and shit. It's because the copycats are being exposed. You can't... Look, the karmic copycats. They did spell work on you because they were jealous. And now the world is in reverse. Because they're getting caught up for being a narc. And... Working against you, yo. They were cheating. They should have stopped this fucking shit because your payoff is coming either way. Because you moved the fuck away from these pathetic ass people. And started something completely different and went towards change. Stood up for your morals integrity. Even if that meant standing alone, it's irrelevant. You know it's right from wrong. It's irrelevant if the fucking external world validates you. You know it's right from wrong. Damn. And they tried to end your love life and all that did was put them fucking 10 feet down into the mud. Because you're an earth angel. You are innocent. You're authentic. You're pure to the heart and this is why you chose to take the fuck off and go on a new path. And be the magician, number one, all by yourself. Because you are the temperance angel. You have balance, you know practicality, spirituality, you know patience. You understand that everything is not going to work out for you. But, you know, the universe is here to help you, not to against you. You know, you, you use your perception. You use your understanding of life. Going through so much trials and tribulations within the years of whatever, how many years you've been here on this earth, we're able to discern situations, understand that we're not always going to get what we want, but we get what we need when we need it. 
Life is not as hard as people make it seem. The square, a challenging situation, a mountain to climb. We have to see our situation for what it is so we can find solutions to it. So we're not dragged into other people's conflicts because they themselves are insecure. They themselves are the queen of cups in reverse, so they're emotionally unstable. They don't know what's coming and what's going, you know. And you, you're sitting here very balanced as the temperance angel, seventh house. Profound relationships, intimacy, and ro romance uh, partnerships. So somebody was jealous of your who you were. They didn't want anybody to be intimate with you. They didn't want you to have a family. This is insane. So it's okay for them to have a, a wife or a husband or somebody, but you were not allowed to? It sounds like how my parents were back in the day when I had kids. They told me, because I had a full-time career, like full-time career, home care. And then I had my kids. And they told me, well, you chose to have kids, so you can't work and because I had no support. You know, it takes a village to raise kids, and I raised my kids till I was, till they were like seven and eight all by myself, no mother, no father, no, nobody on their side, it was all me, financially, emotionally, spiritually, everything, and I did, I kind of fucking, I fell back, like, I became a big time drug addict, because my ex fian um, my ex baby daddy, he was really like, uh, he was mean, he was really, really cruel to me, and when I did break up with him, I went with my fiance, my ex-fiance for the first time, like, this was, like, fucking seven years ago, six, seven years ago, and, uh, I did, I, I kind of lost my mind a little bit, and I ran away, because I had felt so much pressure, you know, so much, like, I, I had to stay stuck, and I wasn't who everybody wanted me to be, so I took off, and it, it gave the father of my children and my parents no fucking choice but to finally be part of my children's life. And as much as I fell back, I still paid for them. I still paid their father and I paid my mother to take care of them. I still paid the rent here and I had three apartments in the city. It's irrelevant. I still took care of my, my business even if I was a drug addict, you know. But I needed them to do this because I had suffered so much without any help before that. I w I'm grateful that I had m gave them no fucking choice. It was about time somebody helped me. They Everybody said so much fucking shit about me. But then every time, who had their kids? Me. I was the one who had everybody's kids because they didn't want their own fucking kids. So I'd watch their kids. I had no problem with that. I love kids. But when I really needed something wasn't there so like I said every five years I always fucking end up changing changing it up changing it up changing it up and I learn from my experiences I try my best not to make the same mistakes twice or three times you know because sometimes we do we end up making mistakes over and over because you know I took my fiance back my ex-fiance like I think like four or five times made a lot of crazy mistakes, you know, but I needed to learn, there was something that I didn't learn yet, and when I learned, I finally walked away, it wasn't to teach them a lesson, it was the fact that I finally learned a lesson, being the alchemist, transmuting the darkness into power, into light, really teaching others that they too can get out of this, that there is always going to be some kind of challenging situation, especially when it comes to intimacy and relationships and them being jealous of you, okay? Not wanting you to excel or go beyond, okay? Collaboration of tension flow, um, tension and flow, potential and rewarding situation. There's a rewarding situation when we express ourselves. When we tell people, you know, listen, we give them no choice or else they're going to continuously shit on us until... We're the bad guy. Then you got to be the bad guy. It is what it is. I'd rather be the bad guy than suffer in silence and kill myself. Be the bad guy. In the story for a little while, I promise you, they're going to get the fuck over it because it's the right thing to do. Do the right thing, even if it makes you suffer. I stayed on those fucking streets in the middle of the winter sometimes because I had so much self-respect that if I didn't, make my money myself, like, legitimately, 
not laying on my back or sucking dick or any of this shit. No, man, no, no. Legitimately. Then I was gonna, you know, suffer the same thing as now. It's a lot of pride. At the same time, it's only because of the traumas and tribulations that we have went through. It's really, really important that you keep standing up for the injustice, even if we suffer, because we will get it back somewhere else. You treat somebody good, they treat you like shit. That's not your problem. That's their problem because they're paying for the consequences. Clearly, look at my cards. While you sit here all doing what you need to do. Could be a Sagittarius, but there's sex styles here. It's a combination of tension and flow rewarding situation. Okay, somebody needs to be more optimistic. Start exploring life and have this freedom because somebody is very trapped in whatever situation they're in. Whether they're an old, haggard old lady, you know, fucking hating on you because you're young, beautiful, and starting a brand new beginning. Or it's somebody's parent, somebody's wife, somebody's husband, I don't know. So It's somebody's really, really fucking close to you that you kind of looked up to, you know, an auntie or something. But they're a wicked, wicked witch, wicked, wicked witch. Show me the romance oracle because it says profound relationships. You deserve love. You deserve love. And not just from these wicked people. Yo, you don't even know what they're doing behind your back. Or maybe you do. And you wanted them to project this nasty stuff. Maybe they did know this. And they wanted them to project this nasty stuff onto you, my beautiful collective. But you deserve love. You deserve to know how to transmute this energy, okay? Because there is always going to be a challenging situation. But you need to look in the mirror and see how lovable you are. Okay? Because it says express your love. Somebody wants to express their love to you. You need to express your love to you. Every morning when I wake up, I give myself a high five in the morning. It really does help the morale of myself. You know? I do these little things. Because if I'm going to, you know, boost others, then I should most definitely be boosting myself. Right? This is what it's about. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture that you seek, okay? So chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's time for you to really tap in. We all have this energetic energy that we carry. And even if we're standing next to a person in a line, we can feel their energy and it does it kind of. So the more we interact with these darker, lower vibrational, you know, karmic energies, we're going to feel less and less romantic, you know, it says romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay, it's time to really explore yourself and have heart to heart conversations, okay, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, somebody really sees that there was a major blockage and that near, and a near death experience, wow, I wasn't gonna say that, but somebody yeah, it could have been somebody's food. Somebody misses your food. Maybe somebody tried to put something in your food because you're a light worker. Because they were bored? I don't know. Somebody is bored with their life. They see you as a light worker and they miss your food. So clearly it's somebody from your past. You know, maybe you used to bring them a lot of food all the time, you know, because you knew they were hungry and they didn't have any food for themselves or their kids. So you would cook some food for you and give them food too. I don't know, but you need to follow your path, okay? It's time to reflect on a situation that's going on because love conquers all, guys. It is what it is. You got to transmute that darkness into light. So when summer comes, you can really dance with the beautifulness of life. Somebody is going to be homeless in the summertime. It's that path, okay, of, of home, meaning like your soul is so empty. Remember how I said that, rotten soul? Like you can smell the filth on these people. And they're fucking bored. They're panicking because they breadcrumbed you, and now they're fucking homeless. You're sitting here in the bag, close the fuck off from this twin flame because this twin flame wanted you to feel stuck. And they cheated the whole fucking time, and that's why you took the lead to become something completely different. And they're pissed off. They probably tried to get all this mother figure, baby mama, girlfriend, whatever, 
to have your photos, maybe? It's irrelevant because at the end of the day, they're fucking crazy, crazy because the sun is being enlightened, you know, that they're two-faced. They're all up in your face saying one thing, doing another, the foolish as fuck, and the ancestors see it. So come on, really? They're fucking pathetic. Why are they pathetic? Because they're a ho, ho, ho. They have no self-love, no self-respect. They have to be underneath a man to feel powerful. <laughs> And you are peace. You are the power. Because you work with Gaia. You work with nature. You're an earth angel. You're a fucking light seed. You're a star seed. And you do everything by yourself. Not in a group. And these fucking group people are in a scandal. Because you do it all by yourself. So if there's more than two people on you, you're already powerful than them. Remind yourself of that, okay? Because at the heart of the deck... You need to rest. These people are on freeze. They're frozen. Their bank accounts fucked the fuck up. Their heads all fucked the fuck up. They're probably on drug. Duh, duh, all frozen. Paranoia, paranoia. Everybody's ch out to get me kind of energy. <laughs> Yo, somebody needs to rest. They're finding out about kids because they fucking, they're with a hoe. Jezebel spirit. Yo, what do you expect? <laughs> you need to make a wish, guys. Okay? This is not your problem. You're chilling. You got alchemy. You're a temperance angel. But you need to know what's going on this week because somebody's clearly trying to return. But you got the divine bodyguard and everything that's sent towards you is being returned back to sender. So if you know somebody who's saying mean things, projecting mean things, slandering, lying, sending darker kitchen magic bullshit, yo. Tell them. Tasha said you must be on fucking drugs because you're losing your mind and you're gonna fucking die doing this. Because somebody is just blessed. Got the divine bodyguards, yo. There ain't nothing you can fucking do about it. And somebody is traveling in the new moon energy and you can't stop them. Because somebody is helping a lot of fucking people. And they're trying to stop you because you're helping a lot of people because they're jealous. They always wanted your position. Always wanted your man. Always wanted something. I don't know. It's fucking weird because I feel like this is a mother. So what? They want their own son? <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. It's fucked up. But that's the relationship that's going on. And this is why they tried to set you up the whole time. Because they were hiding the fucking truth as to what was going on in the darkness. They tried to play you. But... The truth comes out. The truth is being returned, yo. You can't hide shit because the ancestors, spirit guides, they're blinding people with the truth. The ugly truth, yo. This is fucking ugly truth for a morning reading. But it is what it is, guys. They fucked with a temperance angel, look. And that temperance angel caused somebody a major ego death. All right, so shaman of purification. It's time to purify yourself from this nasty ass fucking energy, yo. Time to let it go. And if you love somebody, it's time to, you know, sh show them the right path. Tell them there's a different way. We have two choices. Everybody's at a crossroads. We have a choice. When you don't have choices, that's when you feel like inadequate and you make the wrong choice. But you have choices. You just have to take responsibility for both fucking choices. Purify your energy. Somebody needs to purify themselves from this wicked old hag. Okay, that's sending them dark magic. I really feel it's a mother or like a mother figure or something. I don't know. It's just, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Yeah, you have to honor yourself. Remember, you are lovable. You are worth this. You just have to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Understand that a lot of us have been through some crazy experiences. But that doesn't make us who we are. We're allowed to turn around and say, okay, this is different. You know, take responsibility, some fucked up shit, you know, and honor yourself. Blind people with the truth. Let the truth come out. This is what people don't want, the truth. It's time to tap into that knowledge. You know the truth. 
and you're going to be able to honor yourself with the truth. That is the highest form of vibration, the truth. Self-love, guys. It's time to tap into that gift, to be honest to yourself. You have the knowing about what's going on. It's time to honor yourself and purify yourself from this energy so that this way you're not going to deal with the karma of them. In the exile, somebody's being fucking exiled, yo, and it's not a good exile. Somebody's in purgatory, yo, and they can't get out until they fucking make amends and tell the truth because somebody is so fucking gifted, so fucking tapped in that they dance with the lies. You can't fucking lie to somebody because they set crazy healthy boundaries because they've been through loss of every single possible kind. And this is why the illusions don't work with them anymore. Because they're the fucking star. They're from the stars. The sky is not even the limit, yo. Not even the limit. And you've been through so much loss, so much despair, so much turmoil, that now it's time to be honest, to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, to really discuss feelings with people, you know, to show people that I matter. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I deserve life too. I don't want to just live on survival mode for the rest of my life. I deserve to, to live comfortably. We all do. There's plenty for everybody in this world, but people are so fucking greedy and then they hurt good people. And then they end up having a fucking ego death because, you know, the temperance angel can be walking justice. That's Archangel Michael, yo. That's the protection of all protections when it comes to that. Um, Archangels. And they're really having someone have a, a fucking ego death. Spirit guides, I just want to check something with the tarot deck. Show me more. Show me more. Show me more. Okay. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is not single, not self-sufficient. They want them to be like this. Even though they have a lot of love, somebody is in a group mentality. Look. It's the king and queen. Of cups but this queen again is in reverse so they're clearly not single either with the mother a baby mama a girlfriend a wife take it as it resonates but this bitch is so unstable and this man is emotionally stable emotionally mature but has to deal with this condescendingness and there's no foundation there's no legacy there's no wealth this person is taking them for everything they have so if they were a queen of king of pentacles in the upright well now they're king, the king of pentacles in reverse remember that right somebody is letting go of this toxic environment whether it's a mother because this it looks like the mother's hateful and wants the, the son to be like a player player for the rest of their life why because like i said they have some kind of sick perverted relationship with their son this is why somebody needs to be honest and get out of the mental entrapments, purify themselves, blind people with the truth, because they set you up the whole fucking time to be a fucking drug addict, nobody, this is what you want for yourself, this is what your fucking family planned for you to be, no, return back to sender, guys, because you got the bodyguard, and you have a fucking magician who is starting brand new beginnings with a higher level commitment, so it's time for you to really fucking move on because the payoff is coming. Whoever is doing this nasty energy needs to stop because the devil is in reverse. And somebody's got the motherfucking strength to persevere these demons no matter what. And somebody refuses to heal. That's not your problem. Somebody missed out on an opportunity. No wish granted. That's not your problem. That's their problem. You take care of you. You wish people well. You want the best for people. You fucking block all these nasty ass energies so that people can progress. You do the opposite of what this fucking nasty bitch does. Why? Because you are the fucking light. And you will always protect those even if you're not with them. Because you want the best for people. You are not a hateful, a scoundrel, deceitful energy like that. You want the best for people. So... Never mind these cheaters and these fucking mentally unstable men or women. It's time to really love and value ourselves, okay? Because you got the fucking love, guys. You got the love. You have this energy. You see the codependencies here. And you set the boundaries. You got the love. You are the love. 
You deserve to have nothing but love. You deserve somebody kissing on you, hugging on you, telling you how beautiful you are. You deserve a firing, breeding fucking dragon who's going to go and fucking destroy anything that gets in your way and tries to harm you. You are protected because you are an empathetic star seed. Do you see that? You will have energetic sovereignty. You're single. You're self-sufficient. Ain't nobody tell you nothing. Nobody runs your life. No, you absorb, but you may be absorbing what is not yours. This is why we need to do the work so that the external doesn't penetrate us, okay? We observe. We don't absorb because the body, we have to be careful what we're feeding our mind, body, and spirit. Ask yourself, what parts of you do you need to look more closely at? What's functioning and not functioning in these areas in life? And how do you feel about your body? Okay? And growth. Because it's time for growth, guys. Somebody's the phoenix rising. Makeup, no makeup. You're still the shit. You know? Growth requires you to step out of comfort zone. Growing pains can... Help in growing, in, in gaining wisdom and experience. The old must be left behind before growing into something new. Okay? Because your innovation, you're, you're setting the bar, man. You got new creations, you got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, but somebody's got the opposite. I feel it's this twin that tried to fucking do some nasty shit. Look, it's divine, feminine, uh, divine masculine. Like I said, didn't I say the twin? The divine masculine, or should I say the distorted masculine, or maybe you have a divine masculine coming in. Take it as it resonates, guys. But whomever was trying to do this nasty shit is fucking very distorted. So whether they're feminine or masculine, it's irrelevant. They're distorted. They don't want the best for nobody in body, especially yourself, or else they would know. Especially if they're a real high priestess or priest, they would know that what they're putting out, they're gonna get back. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. Yeah. Somebody knows the consequences to their actions, but they still made the choices. That's on them. That's not a you problem. That's a them problem. If you feel bad, yeah, because you don't want anybody to suffer what you've suffered, but you aren't responsible for that. So don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether it's singing, playing instrument, or listening, the humpback whale. It's time for you to play. To listen to music, to heal, to dance, to have joy. Never mind what's going on in the external world. You have to fill your own cup. You have to put this energy of protection around you so that in this way, when these energies do come in this week, you know what is yours and what is not. So you don't absorb the energy around you. It's really important, okay? Because you have a storm warning here because you have a blossoming abundance. So the fact that you have this blossoming abundance, doors are opening and shit, it's got people really up in their head. Really having these storm warnings because they know that everything from the past is being dismantled. All the illusions, everything, and everything is coming into you, mind, body, and spirit with the three because you did the work. And it's bringing a lot of people anxiety. They're anxious because they know that they fucked with a temperance angel who pulled their motherfucking mask off, who is protected by the ancestors and the deities. It's the two of pentacles, guys. Somebody was juggling people, finances, resources, whatever this is, but they're completely out of balance. There's no resources. There's no time management. They're going up and down. They're trying to adapt to priorities, but they're, they're not having fun with the projects that they're doing. There's like financial delays and stuff and a lot of disorganization. And this is why they're they're anxious because whatever energy that they're sending you, you do you work with energy. So you do energy healing. So how is that supposed to stick? <laughs> People they're crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look the judgment. <laughs> We started with the judgment, we end with the fucking judgment, guys. Renewal, liberation, rebirth, judged for past actions, anointed, re-evaluated, spiritual awakening, heal, change, and second chance. We all get a second chance, guys. We just got to look internally, take responsibility, understand that we have two choices and we have to take responsibility for both. There's the light, there's the dark, there's the easy, there's the hard, there's the, you know, and what's easy is not fucking worth it, and what's worth it is not fucking easy, so pick and choose your battles wisely, guys, and know what's what's worth it and what's not, you know, there's some things that, you know, it, it looks easy, it looks fast, it looks like rewarding, 
but there's no longevity there, so it's just, um, it, it's not, it's nothing really fun, it's just killing time, and who the fuck has time to kill time, nobody has time to just waste time, wow, <laughs> number 21, reduced down to a 3, like I said, mind, body, and soul, guys, it's time to get it right, get it tight, or else you'd be having these loosey-goosey people around you to hold your whole life, and you're wondering why you're fucking obsessed and depressed, 21, the stone guardian, support, faith, and vulnerability, each of us is a child of someone, as adults, however successful, important, or busy we are, time to time, everyone needs support, guidance, and protection, and this is why I do protection for all of you guys, and this is why it's so important to have people around you whose intentions are pure, this card suggests there's a sense of vulnerability about you, it is important to know that your spiritual guides are never too far away. And even though your higher beings are not physically there, you can't see them physically, you are never alone, and they stand beside you to support your every moves and decisions. Do not confuse faith with re religion. Rather, faith is having strength to believe that there is a force greater than ourselves, ready to help us through difficult periods. It's time to tap into that Christ consciousness, guys. It's time to understand that you have all the tools. And that you do manifest your life through your thoughts. So be careful what you're projecting onto others because you have no idea who's protecting them in the spirit world. And like I said, my goon squad, my ancestors, they really do see that as a threat. And they protect me. It says your protectors may be your protector may be an earthbound spirit. Uh, earthbound angel therefore do not be afraid to talk to someone close to you if you need advice it may be a friend a relative you will be surprised at where support comes from at this time this is why i love to do these readings for you guys and interact on the lives um on the premiere lives like the pre the pre-recorded lives because then i could really help you through this you know what i mean and whatever experiences you're going through i could be a support system to you so i'm not just you know, we're not just trauma bonding here and then you don't have any resources to come back to. No, it's really about healing, okay? So we can see situations as dark, as nasty as it is and find solutions to them. See that we're not alone. We've all been through this experience one way or another, but it's all being returned back to sender. So stay authentic with yourself. Be pure. Do not let the external world change your heart. You're a good person, inside and out. And we need to just continuously stay that way, okay? Put up those boundaries and be the bad guy in this fucking situation if you must, okay? Because, Taurus, you need to do a spiritual retrieval, okay? Now, the Taurus could talk about the Empress. It could talk about the North Node because I, I represent it with the North Node because it's mine. But you need to do a spiritual retrieval, okay? It's easy. Make a sandwich, write a letter, take some tobacco, some sage, burn it, speak your letter, call back your energy, call back your spirit, call back your inner child to that experience where you felt broken and the despair and, you know, and give that sandwich to the earth, half of the sandwich, eat the other half, ingest it, tell your spirit that you're gonna, you know, love on her again, love on him again that he or she is safe and that you're always going to be there, that you may not have known better at the time, but now you know better, so you will do better. It's time to call back your spirit. It's time to call back your energy. It's time to be authentic to who you are and go towards your north node. Never mind what everybody else is doing. Because she walks like summer and... She acts like summer and walks like rain. Okay, it's about being balanced, guys, and shine bright, okay? It says, even if it blinds others, it's time to be authentic to your core values. Let's get one of these. Okay, happy oracle. It says, delighted, feeling pleased with the feeling pleased with the beauty that surrounds you. What do you see? It's time to look around you and see how beautiful life is, guys. It is only desolate if you choose to be. So get out of this fed up kind of energy, okay? And cheers. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you some clarity to whatever situation's going on around you or if this is your energy. You know, we don't judge here. We just heal because we've all been through this situation one way or another somewhere. 
along the lines. And this is why we have to have heart to heart conversations and honestly discuss our feelings with each other to show them that we're not alone. This is a soul tribe here, guys. We really do encourage each other to get out of this. So I love you. Thank you for spending some morning time with me. Cheers. And I'm going to go watch that Bella reading after this. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? If you want a more personal reading, because these are not personal. Only take what resonates from it, okay? It could be a little tiny piece in here that gives you a little bit of clarity, you know, and be like, holy, my subconscious. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.